Hello everyone, it's Adam here. This is a BMW R18 Bagger uh, 2022. We're going to do the final drive service today on this bike. Please consult your dealer and owner's manual before doing this. Um, I will give you all the specifications for my 2022 Bagger, but your Transcontinental, your Pure, all those, you know, do your own research is what I'm saying. So we have our crush washer, we have our Hypoid G3 axle oil, we have our O-ring in case you need that. And we're going to start by removing the bags. Um, you can see below how there's a drain plug, which is a T45. And you can see above there's a 7 millimeter hex to fill. But you can't get to that with the bagger or the Transcon with these on there. So uh, we're going to be first removing the seat. The seat is held on by a T30 bolt right behind the seat. And that bolt, when you remove that, you'll be able to pick the seat up. You will feed that leather strap through the seat. It's not connected to anything except for the base. And then once you get that all the way up, you're going to be able to disconnect if equipped with your heated seat plug that's running up to your seat there. So to get the seat off, uh, remove the T30, pull out the leather strap, and then unhook the heating seat element there. You'll be left with this mess of coils and stuff. Uh, we're going to be disconnecting the um, yellow and blue one right here that I point to, cutting those zip ties disconnecting this piece here with those two clips inside with your fingers and then you're going to put a pick in from the top down in order to free that connector the pick is uh, oriented you know back to front to get at that uh, and, and disconnect that once that's free you can use a t40 to remove the side bag which are located right here so put your leg on the bag from the outside start unscrewing this get those bolts out. They are not encapsulated with any Loctite. Uh, nothing requires Loctite for this video. Once those are done, you can obviously make sure you're free again, pull that off and take it to the side. The bottom is not, um, it's a fix, but it's not mounted. Now we can access the fill and the drain plug. So you're going to grab your seven millimeter hex and you're going to unscrew this. The top fill plug is equipped with a copper washer, a crush washer. You'll need to, um, uh, replace as a part of the service. The bottom is equipped with an o-ring, a rubber o-ring that is replaced only if damaged or worn. Um, make sure you cover your wheel and tire with um, cardboard so don't think it's on your, um, your beautiful tire. Um, you can see here how I'm taking this out. Uh, this is retorqued to 25 newton meters. The bottom one is retorqued to 20. Replace that copper washer. Inspect for any damage. Pretty simple. On the bottom we have our T45. Boom. Take this out and drain the roughly 210 milliliters of fluid into a vessel of your choice. Uh, because of the tight quarters, I ended up using a, uh, a nice little funnel here with a, uh, a stopper on the bottom. Uh, I replaced the O-ring because I like doing that. It's cheap insurance, but um, you can do what you want to there. You'll notice this is a magnetic drain plug, so you need to clear out all the gunk that's inside of there. I use a little piece of napkin, four pieces of napkin and got it all cleared out as you can see right there and attached my new o-ring. Next up we're going to grab our uh, syringe. Oh sorry yeah don't forget to torque to um, 20 uh, on that bottom one um, before you refill it. I grabbed my syringe. I put 210 milliliters of the G3 axle oil. You see how there's about two, 300 milliliters left so there's enough in this bottle for two final dry fluid changes which is nice. You can use non BMW branded as long as it meets specifications, but it's cheap insurance. Here's your crush washer. So replace that and torque to, uh, I think it's 25 for the top one, 20 for the bottom one. I put uh, torque specs in the very end of the video. Now we're going to reattach the bags. You can see in the bottom of that video there how there's the uh, little dirt marks. Just line it up where the dirt marks are because it's rubber for the bottom and it just sits right on top of there. Make sure you put your zip ties in before you run the cable for finger reasons, uh, clearance reasons. And then you can go ahead and grab your um, your bag and you can put it on top of the, uh, the carrier and start screwing in those T40s. Torque these down. Again, specifications at the end of the video. I think it was 19 newton meters for those. That's already ran through. Tighten those down and cut the zip ties. Then reconnect and slide this onto the connector there. No pick required for the reinstallation. Then you can close that up, put on the seat, line up the leather strap, and then torque that down to 8 newton meters for the seat bolt. 
I kept this at five minutes. I'm really proud of myself. Uh, again, uh, no warranties in this video. I'm not responsible for this. I'm not a BMW technician. So please use this video at your own risk and always consult your BMW Motorrad dealer for service, manuals, tech specs, uh, torque specs, and parts. Good luck.